Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining my session. Uh, I will be talking about how you can automate uh, the storage management of, or the lifecycle management of Azure VMware solution, which is part of the Bure Storage and newest integrations. My name is Adam Mazuz. I work as a senior cloud solution engineer uh, here uh, for Bure Storage for the past three years. And I'm also being designated as the V expert this year, and hopefully I'm going to maintain this title for the upcoming years. All right, so um, a couple of slides I want to start with just to give you a, a bit of or a high level of what this integration is about. And also, if you want to have a very deep dive into the solution, tomorrow we're going to have a, a breakout session. I w just want to have a, a plug in here before I forgot in the later on. So this, the solution, it's integration between Azure VMware solution and the Bureau Storage software version of the FlashRay. We call that Cloud Blockster. Um, there's a couple of reasons why we have that. One is to reduce the total TCO of your cloud environments, um, which is decoupling the storage from the compute. Also, you will be unlocking uh, the data services for a lot of applications that runs on EVS. But most importantly, um, the, or the main core concept that we put together with this solution is how we leveraged the Azure Run commands. Um, Azure Run commands, or which is part of the EVS or Azure VMware solution ecosystem here, is uh, a collection of PowerShell-based commandlets that enables AVS users to can they, they can elevate their um, enhanced administrative privileges, which is part of how EVS uh, design. It's you don't have a lot of access for the cluster itself. So Azure or Microsoft they built this together in order for you to you can elevate and do this certain root access um, privileges for those cluster. Um, a couple of, uh, so what we've done is we took this generic run commands and we combined them with our PowerShell SDK, the Bureau Storage PowerShell SDK, plus some Power uh, CLI for VMware. And we packaged it all together and it's now part of the Bureau Storage plugin OVA. We have a specific version we call that Cloud Manager, now which is com comes with pre package with all the modules you need. Before I go into the lifecycle management of the solution, I want to give you a, a sense of how you can deploy it. The first thing you need to do, maybe you have already, is you have an, your Azure VMware solution deployed. Once you deploy that, it's going to show the number of hosts and which availability zone in the region you have that. Right? You take a note of this, and then now you need to deploy the, 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 the software of the Bureau Storage software array that called Cloud Blockster. And uh, it's um, very easy to follow. Just go to the marketplace, search for your storage. You're going to find the offer there. And once you do that, make sure that during the deployment, you select the same zone similar to the AVS. All right? The third thing is now we're connecting the AVS environment, which is the private cloud, with the, the VNet where you, your cloud blocks resides. The CBS resides on your subscription. So it's, it's managed application within the same subscription. So once you do that, you, you go and connect both environments using the dedicated express route circuit that is part of your EVS environment. Very easy steps, so three steps, so you can now start provisioning storage. To visualize the whole deployment, I just put this slide here. So you start with EVS, you have all your VMware stack, the, your vCenter, your NSX, and now the, 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 se the next thing is you need to go and deploy your Club Lock Store, which is in your subscription. Then you connect the virtual network where Cloud Blockster is utilizing to the AVS cluster using the express route, using the virtual network gateway. All right? I don't want to go into details how we do that. Now I'm, I need to make sure that how, if I will provision VMFS data stores from, my, from CBS, stands for Cloud Blockster, to AVS, stands for Azure VMware Solution. I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm, I don't have a lot of time to talk about this. Um, but is you have to remind yourself of three things. How EVS, or how Microsoft Azure, they're making sure your EVS cluster is up to date in terms of if the automatically there is one, if the couple of hosts will be replaced, um, and if they encounter some hardware failures, or there is an undergoes a bland ESXi version upgrades. Second thing, this, the, the lifecycle management will be triggered if you will be manually adding hosts or the removing hosts, so you scale up or scale down. The third thing is, 
Um, so AVS, a private cloud, can host multiple clusters. So in the same private cloud, you might have another cluster. So when you add another cluster to the private cloud, now this is also a lifecycle management trigger, right? So putting this in mind, now let's go into how we can achieve that. The first thing, what I want to do for me now, I want to scale my SXI hosts. And I have the MFS data stores already attached from my CBS array. How I make sure that now CBS knows about those hosts have been added and will configure or the iSCSI configurations and also making sure that now all my hosts can access the same VMFS. So I can do all of other operations in terms of VMV motions and everything. So the first thing I want to make sure that here, I, I jumped into the OVA the, that I told you about, the cloud manager. I can see now all of my the commandlets that I've um, installed from the bureau storage.cbs.avs. This is the wrapper we put together for the PowerShell SDK we have and the Azure run commands, right? The second thing I want to do here is one of the, or the, in the first thing you need to do to initialize the integrations between EVS and CBS is to run the build BCBS cluster, which is basically you just need to make sure that you pass the name of the cluster, the pass the, the private cloud name, and the cloud blocks or um, connection. So now, you can talk, uh, this OVA can talk to CBS, can talk to EVS, which means Azure Control Plane, and also can talk to the EVS cluster itself, the VMware part, right? So this will make sure that everything is set up. The next thing you want to do is now, I want to deploy the BCBS EVS monitor, and this is the core thing of this session. How I can make sure now, if there is host being added, host being removed, and how the whole thing can, can self-heal, or self-automate itself. Because now I need to make sure that our side, the storage side, is automated as well. So we, built, we run this command. This command will eventually do create um, an, an Azure in, an infrastructure that is consolidated in a key vault where you can store the credentials, um, some function app and application insight. Think about it as I'm pulling my infrastructure status. If something uh, been added, removed. Now, this will uh, the application insight will will uh, de detect it, and then the function app will just rerun the first commandlet I've shown you, the build CBS. So now every single time there is something being changed, it's just gonna self heal and and um, lifecycle management of both the host and the storage. All right. So how it's work? So I've already deployed the, the monitor stack. And what I need to make sure now, I want to go to the, my cluster. So this is my EVS cluster. Oh, sorry, uh, before that, I want to just show you the infrastructure here. So I can, I can see that this is my infrastructure that deploy commandlet uh, done for me. The function app is part of it, application insight, key vault, storage account. And you can do that um, to a new resource group or to an existing resource group. So that you can have this selection already. The next thing I want to do now, let me try to scale up, right? So I'm manually going to scale up my cluster. I'm going to add two hosts to my cluster, and I will see how my monitoring stack will react, which is, so it should be like this by animation, right? So, but let's see that in, in action. All right, so the first thing I want to go to my EVS cluster. Cluster 2 is my target cluster for automatic to manually adding two hosts. I will add two hosts, save it. And then this takes a while, maybe from 30 minutes to one hour, depends on how Azure. So um, as you can see there, uh, uh, EVS already, already had the, func uh, the, the, the host added, and the function already e executed a couple of times. From a CBS perspective, from my storage console here, I can see that all uh, I've added two members of the same uh, host group, so it's all automated for you. Same thing can happen if I will scale down manually. So I will delete the, my. So think about it that during the weekend or like during some um, days or some end of the month, I need to add more VMs or I need to add workload there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove two two hosts from my. I don't need them anymore. And I'm seeing that how this will be managed itself and detect those hosts being removed. So I think I'm going to go back to the Azure VMware solution, go to the cluster, a cluster to which I've already added two hosts there. 
as you can see, it's easy as just I'm going to go there and delete. This is one of the perks of having uh, your Azure, um, your VMware as a managed service, right? So it's going to take a while as well. On the meantime, my VMware cluster will see that, hey, I'm removing. So we're just going to put them in maintenance mode, disconnect them, and then remove them. While this is happening, now my monitoring stack will detect that. And it should be now. Yes. So if I will move, sorry for that. So now if I go back to, um, so as you can see, only three now available. If I go back to the storage console, I can see that my cluster two has only two host members. All right. So this is what the deploy AVS monitoring war, uh, does. But we have more functions to that. We have, you can add a new, um, if you want to add a new CBS, you can just, hey, I want to add a new CBS, or I want to remove it, et cetera, et cetera. We thought about every single um, management operations you want to do. All right. Um, this is a segue I think I want to do for where I, I post more, most of my content. You can reach out to me if you want to learn more. There's LinkedIn, there's Twitter there. Um, also, I actually want to give this segue. Um, so, sorry for that. Um, I just want to give you uh, that tomorrow I will be talking deep diving into more of how we build this with uh, Cody Hosteman um, around 10.30, so as a breakout session. So please come join us, and thank you. Thank you for being here. <laughs>